They put their first name and their phone number, and they handed that to me and sent me home with it. At the same time, they sent me home in one of these, a little chip, and it said 24 hours, the, the serenity trip, right? And, and so, you know, the next day I, I went to an AA meeting again, and then I got a week, and then I got a month, they gave me another one. And then two months, they gave me another one. Three months, they gave me another one. And six months, they gave me another one. And nine months, they gave me another one. And at one year, I got the one-year chip. And as you said, this last June 8th of this year, I've I've been clean and sober for 35 years. Now, here's where here's where how I kind of took the path to go into the personal development uh, route. I had when I was getting sober, I had insomnia, so I was up late at night all the time. My sleep patterns were all over the place. Now, remember, I'm coming off heroin, I'm coming off cocaine, and I'm coming off alcohol. And I can tell you, it's not a fun ride. It's 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 it, it doesn't look anything like something fun. I can tell you that. I've had, I've literally had people tell me that clinical psychologist told me one time, he said, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but the chances of you making it out with having to deal with all three of those is astronomical. And I said, doc, that's great. Don't tell me the odds. I don't want to know, but I know, I knew what she was talking about. And so, yeah, there, there he was one night, three o'clock in the morning, Mr. Motivation, you know, a young Tony Robbins, there he is you know, selling Gunthy Ranker through Gunthy Ranker, selling his program called Personal Power. It's a 30-day program. And I, you know what, Alan? I couldn't stand him. I thought, what a pompous ass this guy is, man. I don't like this guy at all. He's all motivated. You know, he's all enthusiastic. And I'm not motivated. I'm not enthusiastic. I'm hurting bad, right? But he said a couple things that kept me listening and kept me in the game. The one thing he said was, We'll do more to avoid pain than we will to gain pleasure. And I went, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I get that, sure. Because I'm drinking and drugging, and guess what I'm chasing or running away from? Pain and pleasure, right? And so, but the one that really got me said, you know, the driving force in our life, how we make decisions, we do it out of inspiration or desperation. 